Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike from Spectre Comics. Today I'm going to show you how I create comic book panels while laying out my final comic book pages. Now using Photoshop, this method takes me less than two minutes. It can be used in black and white as well as color comics. And if you're a comic book creator who uses Photoshop to draw, this method will save you a ton of time. So let's take a look at an example of one of my pages and how I would lay it out quickly if I was creating a new comic book, like kind of getting to the final layout of the comic book page. I'm drawing in Photoshop Elements 2019, but regular Photoshop would work because the programs are very similar. So let's just take a quick look at my layers. You'll notice I've got a white background layer. My second layer is my comic book template. If you've seen some other videos where I was drawing with uh, comic book pages, um, I've mentioned before that I use a template from my comic book printer. I use Kablam, and the template gives you kind of a layout that you'll follow in order to keep everything on the page. You'll notice the red color is the trim line. That's anything you want to be on a page, make sure it's not in the red. The yellow line gives you a nice border and the blue area is basically the content of the page. Now, if you have a comic book page where all your drawings kind of bleed off the edge, this doesn't really apply, but you can still use this method to create individual panels uh, on those pages. Now let's create a layer called the border layer and I keep this in my standard template and I just kind of bring it from page to page uh, that way I don't have to draw it every time. But you'll notice that the border layer has a style attached to it and I'm gonna attach a stroke. So if we go back to the layer and I'll hit the effect it'll bring up this dialog box and you'll notice stroke is checked and I've got a six pixel black stroke. Again I draw in black and white comics and that's why I have uh, a, a black stroke attached to it because the borders are all black. So I hit OK and next thing I'm going to do now that my layer is created I'm going to go ahead and grab my rectangular marquee and I'm going to kind of outline the blue area because that's where all my content is going to start. And once I get to the bottom here just using the simple paint bucket with a white paint Fill that in. Now you'll notice I have a rectangular border with a six pixel stroke attached to it here. So let's go ahead and turn off the template layer. And now zooming out on the page, I've got a standard border there. Again, a border for my comic book panels with a six pixel stroke attached to it. The next thing I'm gonna do is bring in a scanned comic book page from my pencils when I draw and sketch. Now again, if you're just drawing, uh, you don't need to do this, but my method is I use a sketched page that I did in pencil, scan that in the computer, and I bring that in as an underlay to the final drawing. But I'm going to bring the pencil scan in on the top. I'm going to put an opacity on it. I'm going to reduce the opacity to about 50% so that it's light and I can see through it. And now you'll zoom in on here and you can see the pencil version of the panel. So I'm going to go ahead and select the border layer and I'm going to go ahead and select the rectangular marquee again from the tools. And now I'm just going to use the pencil sketch as my guide for where my panel borders are. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete. And now I can go ahead and pan down as well and get consistent gaps between my panels. I'm going to go ahead and slide that marquee down and hit delete again. And I also have a vertical one. So we're going to go ahead and slide that all the way down. And, you know, it's not, they're not always straight because I did them by hand, but, you know, I can make some adjustments there. Hit delete again. Now let's turn off the sketch layer so you can actually see what I just did. I turn off the sketch layer. I've got some nice panels being made. Now there's one other type of panel I want to show you, and that's if I have like an angle on the panel. So going back to the border panel layer, I'm going to turn the pencil sketch layer on again. And we'll zoom in on this final panel because we actually do have an angled border right here. I'm going to select the, uh, the border layer again, and I'm going to use the polygonal marquee this time. And now I can select an area that's on an angle, just kind of eyeballing it for making sure the lines are parallel. Again, hit delete again, and now you'll see it deleted an angled area. We're going to turn off the sketch layer again. And that is it. So that's how I quickly make panel borders for my final comic book pages using Photoshop. Again, I draw with Photoshop Elements 2019, but any Photoshop program will do. We'll turn the sketch layer back on. And now the next step I would do when creating my comics is go ahead and use the sketch as an underlay and create a bunch of final layers to draw the final comic book panels on. So that is it for this video. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to my channel. More Photoshop tips for comic creation and drawing will be forthcoming, so don't forget 
to subscribe so you don't miss that. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.